how pretty that is though. Seriously. Huh. I'm sure the sunset from here is beautiful. He's so excited. He's like a little kid when he goes to national parks, he just runs. <laughs> Hi, so we are, it's Wednesday. What month is it? February 8th. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> We've been doing this for a little while. We are in Saguaro National Forest in Tucson, Arizona. Can you move to the left? Of Can I move to the left? Wow. <laughs> I'm in his ultimate real area for real master Derek. Um, sun's about to go down. We took the tan to, uh, we left work or we left the RV because we were done working and decided to come out here and check it out during the week since it's probably a little slower and then this weekend we'll come back and do some hiking but um it's beautiful out here these cacti are huge uh if you haven't really ever seen one in real life um they are not tiny and there are so many out here we'll get you guys some more footage of the national forest the hikes there's two parts here in arizona there's saguaro national park west and east they are Probably about 30 45 minutes apart from each other, so uh, we'll let you know all about it. This week. <laughs> well, hello. Hello. Today is Saturday, February 11th. Sub's birthday. Happy birthday, Sub, if you're watching. Uh, my best friend. So today we are in Seven Falls, right to the north of Tucson in the Coronado National Forest. Coronado National Forest. Um, the hike was, I don't know, how I think long it's was the like hike? Seven and a half miles. Up and back. Yeah, we so it's 3.9 right now, but we did a lot of scrambling to get to the point where we are. But um, let me show you how this place looks. You can hear the waterfall in the background. So it's called Seven Falls, and that's because there are seven waterfalls. These are a couple of them. And if you keep going down, it goes all the way down to where those people are over there. And you can see why we climbed up here. We climbed up here, yeah. Very popular trail. Very busy. Difficult to get a picture at the bottom with all seven falls because there's people just like lounging around on the rocks. It is beautiful though. It is beautiful. So, great hike. If you're in Tucson, definitely right. recommend this hike. Right it's next to popular Saguaro. though. Not yeah. a lot of parking. You have two options. You can either go into the park uh, where the visitor center is and then there's a tram that'll bring you to this trailhead. Or you can park outside of the park in Bear Canyon. Um, there's maybe, what, 15 spots? Yeah. 15, maybe 20. I don't think there's 20. Um, and then uh, and then you just kind of walk where you would take the tram, basically. I feel like we got here at 10, kind of late for a Saturday morning hike, but um, we were waiting for the weather to warm up a little bit, and it did, which is nice. But people are actually getting in the water here, which is kind of nuts. I'm it's sure it's February. cold. It's February. You don't go swimming <laughs> in February. I'm nuts. Like they go in for 10 seconds and, they and then they come out and like fly out. out. <laughs> All right, well, we'll we'll show you some footage on as we go back down. But um, for now, we're gonna enjoy some waterfalls. I mean, I had to use all my hands and feet. <laughs> yep, <laughs> like that. <laughs> What are you reaching? Oh my god, you're so dumb. <laughs> What's in there? I don't know. There's nothing in here. Nothing. So we've made our way over to Tank. Tank? Tonk? Tonk. Tonk Verde Falls. And these are pretty. Not as. We're trying to go find like. It's supposedly there's like a 80 foot waterfall, but the trail we were on wasn't quite taking us there, so we decided to take a different route which is just down the river or creek or whatever you want to call this but it's really pretty here really pretty cliffs rocks waterfalls derrick more pretty rocks so we're gonna go find the waterfall we'll obviously see it from the top down but we'll let you know how it looks like. Update. We found the waterfall. Sorry for the wind and the waterfall noise. There's Derek. It's a long way down. It's 
So it starts up there, comes down, and falls. We've been chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Okay, that's all. That's all I got. This is what the waterfall looks like from the other side. It's beautiful. They say it's 80 feet. I'm guessing that's 80 feet. That's probably 80 feet. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, moms. You made that look easy. <laughs> Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Who are you going for, Derek? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care this <laughs> If it's not the Patriots. I don't care. He doesn't care. It's but even Patriots better, there you go. Know. It's not the Patriots with Brady. So now, not a Patriots fan. <laughs> doesn't give a crap. So he was really a Brady fan more than anything. Was. Was. Now Brady kind of like, this is going to cause chaos in our comments, but <laughs> whew, with all 50 subscribers that we currently have on this day. <laughs> um, I'm a Falcons fan. We've always sucked. So, you know. We still root there. We're still here every day. We don't just drop off like the Patriot Brady fans. And even those fans, like the true Brady fans that became Buck fans, yeah. aka Derek's mom. That's totally my mom. That's 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 even worse. <laughs> so today we are on the Romero Canyon Trail, going up to the see Romero pools. the Romero pools. Uh, it is a two and a half mile up. Yeah, to the pools, and then you can continue up like any other waterfall as far as you want. Or can. Uh, we'll see how far I can get Jonathan up there. Yeah, we're gonna go. And then hopefully it is beautiful. And we, from the people that are coming down, they have said it's beautiful. So, uh, get some shots while we're up there. And then, Super Bowl. So we're at Catalina State Park. Um, is it in Tucson still or just north of Tucson? Uh, I think we're still within the boundaries. Um, it is the same general mountain range area as Saguaro East, um, Push Ridge Wilderness Area, Tanque Verde, like all that is in the same general area, but there's a lot of different, I guess, individual places you can go to. So Romero Pools is where we're going today via Catalina State Park. And so yes. we'll see how it is. And then later we're gonna go clean up, get showered, we're gonna head to Brian's house. Oh almost died. Almost died. Like I said before, we're gonna go watch the Super Bowl with Brian. Uh, when I was in the army, he was in the Air Force when we were both here in the Tucson area. So, I'm going to hang out with him, reconnect, uh, which is nice to have somebody to watch the game with, kind of catch up. We don't see, we don't see too many people. All right, okay. I'm losing my breath here, so we'll catch up, catch up later. Oh, we're going down, nice. Saw a lot of people having like heart attacks on the way up here. <laughs> like, know your limits. This is a, yeah, take your a time. short trail, but it is tough. It is straight up. Um, like, I don't know how much good hiking poles are going to do for you. Like, you're, you're almost better off just using your hands. You're not climbing over things. It's just... I don't know. I don't, I don't understand poles. There's pros and cons of those hiking poles. Here, not necessary. Some places I'm like, maybe, but no. We're good. Ready. We're good. We found the waterfall. Very pretty. This water is crazy. Like, initial, like, shock. It is crazy how cold it is. That's really pretty, though. Um, I initially saw it and wanted to go in because I'm hot from this hike. 
But I'm not getting in that water. It's so cold. <laughs> uh, if I get in, I'll show you. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get as close to the waterfall as possible. We are making our way back down the trail. It got hot today, so we made a little outfit change. Um, 70 degrees. And Arizona's hot. I can only imagine what it's like when it's 120 degrees. Waterfall was amazing. We could have stayed up there all day. I think out of the three that we did this weekend, we did Seven Falls in Push Ridge Wilderness. We did Tanque Verde, Tank Verde, Tank Verde, however you want to say it, um, in the Coronado National Forest. And now we did Romero Pools in Catalan State Park. And this one is our favorite. Absolutely. We could have stayed at the waterfall all day. If we would have brought our lunch, more water, and we didn't have Super Bowl plans. And we didn't have Super Bowl plans. We would have stayed. But um, we yeah, are really great opportunity to just like kick back, relax, find a, a pool or a series of pools that's all yours. Explore, take pictures. The hike here is really challenging. And even so though this hike ends supposedly ends on the at the waterfall, you can oh, you, you can, can go keep either going way. either way. You can keep going. Just go down the wash or go up the wash. Yeah. That's pretty much. I think all the waterfalls for this week. Almost died. Next week, we, we leave Tucson. We what? Leave Tucson. We leave Tucson. We're gonna try to do Pikachu Peak State Park. Correct. That's another cool hike. And then, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully the weather's better in Sedona, because really It's not, go it's gonna be cold. Hi everyone. It is Saturday, February 18th. Like that matters. It's a long weekend. Um, we're driving from Tucson to Picacho State Park. We're gonna do a hunter's trail today to get to Picacho Peak. I hear it's called Picacho. Yeah, Picacho. We've been calling it Picacho this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's supposed to be a pretty cool trail, similar to Angel's Landing, obviously without all the crowds. Um, but it has cables and it's like you go up a steep incline. That is Picacho Peak right there in the distance. I don't think it comes out great on the camera, but up close it's pretty imposing. So that's that. This is our last full day in the Tucson area. Yeah. Last full day in the Tucson area. We were going to do Window Peak today through Montana Canyon. Ventana Canyon. Ventana. Uh, it was like a 14 mile hike. We opted out because we were going to Sedona tomorrow. Um, Which we planned this week. It was not last minute. It wasn't a part of the original path. Here you can't miss it, so we're not gonna miss it. So that's our plan for next week. Um, we don't want to overdo the hike, so we'll do this like a three mile hike. Um, it's more elevation gain than anything else. And we'll drive to Sonoma tomorrow. We'll do some of the most do hikes in the afternoon, follow up a few more Monday work, and then another national park blitz from there. We're doing the national uh, petrified forest, Grand Canyon. Morning. We made it to Picacho Peak State Park. Seven dollars for the vehicle. That's pretty cheap. I'm guessing they have, they probably do have like a season pass or something, right? I would think so. For people who visit state parks, or at least the Arizona state parks. So, so cool. Uh, trailhead's very easy to find. We drove by it on the way to Tucson. Drove by the peak, it. yeah. Immediately interested. It's right off the interstate. So if you're on I-10 between Phoenix and Tucson, you'll definitely see the peak. Um, but it starts going up right away. Yeah, you should look it up. It's a unique hike. If you're into cool hikes that require all four limbs, it's a cool one to look into. But yeah, so pan this around. That's what we're climbing. You go up to the right first. Then you go down in between, they call that the saddle. And then you go up that steep part. And then you go up there. the steep part. 
and then straight to that peak. So that's our goal. We made it to the top of something. We're on the edge of this big rock that you can't really tell how big it is until you're here. But we're trying to get to the top of it. Trail goes this way. You can see all those people coming up and down over there. We are tired. <sighs> Definitely taller than that guy over there. That little mountain. Hi. <sighs> Whew. This is this is a killer workout, which is awesome. But at the same time, phew, we had to take a lot of breaks. Everybody's taking breaks. It's not just us, it's everybody. It is very steep, very quick. So, drinking water. The sun was on us for the beginning, so it was hot. Now it's a little chilly. I don't know what's going on. It's beautiful though. We will give you an update once we get up there somewhere. Not quite sure exactly where it is, but I think it's up there. <sighs> yeah. All right, we've started the down on the saddle where you have to I'm hold up. To do this backwards, but... Yeah, not supposed to. That's what one person recommended. Is to go down backwards. I went forwards, but this it's is pretty fun, steep. Though. I just kind of like jump down. It's it's not hard. It's just Whee! tricky. Yeah, there you go. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> this right. does help, I guess. If you're yeah. But look, it just goes straight down. This is very steep. I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but I'm like literally holding on my backhand <laughs> as I go down. Don't hit your head. Alright, it's kind of fun. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. Up. A lot of people up here. Pretty cool though. Alright, we're headed back down. Nobody fell yet. Nobody fell. We had a quick little lunch or snack, really. Got sandwiches at the bottom, so that's what we got looking forward to. This is definitely not the hard part. We'll definitely get to not. it. <laughs> The view is awesome. Look at this bird. It's not a national park view, exactly. But it's not. There's an interstate. <laughs> Gas station. Gas station. <laughs> Campground. This is the way you went? Is there a different way to go? I don't know. I feel like they went up and over, but I'm not sure. I think it's a create your own path. This is the passage. Well. Go for it. I'm watching. Good luck. May gravity be not with you. This place is busy. It's a traffic jam. How's that? <laughs> My hands are nice and warm. I know, mine too. I was like, ooh, that got hot quick. <laughs> Hi. So, I think we're probably about half mile, maybe a mile, not even a mile really, 
from the bottom, from the end, which is great. This trail kind of catches you off guard because on the way back, you still got to go up the chains that you went down on the way there. So that really like takes your breath away. And uh, I was really tired earlier, so I couldn't like, I didn't stop. So we kept going, you know, Derek stopped. Derek's up there. He's taking some extra footage for Instagram and stuff for reels, but um, great hike. Um, honestly, it is a great workout. I would totally wake up early and do this. Um, wait, a don't come on the weekend if you don't have patience. Um, there's like a Boy Scout troop here. There's a lot of big groups from the, I think the university and like, um, I mean, these groups are like, we're talking 10, 20 people. So when there's these little bottleneck areas where only one person can go up or down at a time, that's where you end up waiting a lot. We, on the way down, we let some group come up because they were waiting for like 20 minutes to go up. So, um, you just gotta be nice. A lot of people don't think about that, but they're just trying to rush. Um, but yeah, so if you're trying to work out, be here as soon as sunrise on the weekends. If not during the week, you should be pretty good on the week. A lot of people said on Thursday, like Wednesday and Thursday, there was like nobody down here, which is pretty awesome. Um, if we had the ability to do that, if we had like a day off work or if we took off work, I would totally do that. Um, so. All right, so we're almost done with this hike, so we're probably, and this is our last bit of Tucson. We are headed to Sedona tomorrow. So that is where our next week's video will start. So until next week, please don't forget to like the video. It really does help. Any comments, questions, go ahead and leave them down, down below. And we will uh, answer any questions, comments. Um, follow us on Instagram if you want to see exactly where we are at the current time. All right. Oh. We got that. How do you feel about that? Tell us. No? Nothing? No feelings. He, al he almost killed himself. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> got that too. <laughs> all right well i think if this is the last waterfall that we visited this week this will be the end of the video so until, until next, next week next week click the like button below comment <laughs> thanks bye until next week guys thanks for watching bye